for MMA. I'm Mark Gilston, this is Sean Cooper, and today I'd like to talk a little bit about a back collar grip. Um, this is fairly common in judo. I don't see it very often in BJJ, but it's a tremendously strong controlling position. Um, so, usually this comes up either if he's in a turtle or if he's flat on the ground, or if I have his back and I'm unable to finish uh, a choke. I'll show a couple of ways of getting there. If, if I'm in a turtle, I always want to be control, controlling his head if he's in the turtle position, and I'm going to come up with the collar. Right? This is not very threatening to him, so it's a, a fairly nice position to be in. I want to make sure that I'm leaning into him so that he can't turn into me, but even, even if he tries, this also helps prevent him from turning in. So if I push down on the head and pull up here with a heavy elbow, very hard for him to turn into me. When I'm ready to complete my move, I'm going to let go of this collar and quickly grab underneath the arm. Now here he can come up, but as he comes up, I back away, pull him flat. My shoulder or arm is behind his head. It's extremely important that I don't let him get his head on the ground. If he can get his head on the ground, he's going to get away. So under, and I want to keep his head there. No. All right, I can just hold him here indefinitely. Do be careful, there's a neck crank here. I don't want to do that to him. I mean, if it's on the street or whatever, I can push on his head. But we want to be nice to each other on the mats so that we keep being able to train with the same partner. The same idea if there are some people who are just you try and choke them and it's like just incredibly difficult. So if you have the, the cross collar defense with your hands, yeah. This, this can be very, very difficult to get into. He pushes away anytime I try or he grabs me with the other hand if I actually get under one and the second hand gets in the way. So if he's here being super defensive against the choke, I still can come in underneath. From here, I'm going to bring my feet under and scoot him back. Then I move to the side. Notice that I bring my foot to his back. That prevents him from being able to get away. So this is still a very strong controlling position. He's struggling. I can bring the other foot back and into the same dominating hold. All right, so great for judo. 20 seconds, I win the match, but in jiu-jitsu, I have to submit him. So how do we go around submitting him? First thing, I like to try to lock up this arm. So I'm here putting pressure on him, keeping him idle and I'll bring the foot over and track the arm. If I want to be really obnoxious, I'll put my knee on his bicep. But if I ever want to work with him again after today, I cross over so I don't have any direct weight on his arm, right? Still pulling tight here. From this position, he pretty much can't get away. That gives me a free arm. Fingers in, a little space here, grabbing the collar. This sets me up for the scissor choke, Hasami Jime, or people often call it the bat choke. So once I'm here, I'm going to bring my elbow to his ear. This elbow goes towards his ear, and I'm going to walk around his head. I still want to keep his head off the ground, but I can release the arm safely. 
that finishes the bat choke. So here we are again. Bring the knee over, trap the arm, fingers in. There's a little bit of space here, it's all I need. Curl, notice my hand is flat. I don't want to be like this. I want my hand to be flat, palm up. Release the arm, keeping his head up, walk towards his head. All right. This time, he knew what I was after. He doesn't want to let his arm get trapped, so I come in and he brings his arm across. All right. Knee goes on the side. That helps hold him down. I'm still pushing down here. But as he's struggling, I'm gonna sweep under the arm and catch it. This hand now grabs behind the collar as deep as I can get it. And again, here he's controlled. At this point, I can release my other hand. I no longer need this. He still is not going to easily be able to get out. I've got control with the knee. I've got control with the collar, very important. And I'm bringing my elbow in to control his arm. Over the top. Um, notice that I'm going towards his pinky with the arm bar. All right, I always want to bring his arm towards his pinky. If he doesn't want me to do that, he's going to turn his hand, and now this no longer does anything. Scoop under, grab your bicep, be very careful when you submit, right? But it's a Kimura here, okay? So first, I'm coming over. If he bends or turns his arm, Kimura, okay? If he's too smart for that, I'm trying to come in. He gets his arm out, lean, cross, straight arm. Notice I'm still holding on to the collar till the very end. If he grabs his arms together here, I'm gonna lean towards his head. And I have, again, still holding the collar. I have good leverage and I can fit. Okay. That collar, I call this theory determined. All right. Nice. Thank you, Mark.